Hello everyone and welcome to Drones Direct. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Parrot app, which is called the Free Flight 6 app, and it's used to control the Parrot Anafi that I've got here in my hand. Now the Parrot Anafi is an awesome choice for the mid-range price drone bracket. Not only does it offer 4K video, it's got a zoom, it's got a 180 degree angle gimbal so you can get very unique wide angle shots with it. And in addition to this, the app that you use makes it super simple and very quick to get up in the air. So we're going to be taking a little look at that app. I'm going to show you some of its features and talk about some of the functions on it. And then we're going to get you some flight footage in another video a little bit later to show you how easy it is to get this thing off of the ground. Stay tuned. Okay, so when you open the Free Flight 6 app, you are greeted with this screen. It has a gallery function, which will show you pictures that you've taken. In addition to this, we have a load map function, which allows you to load the map of the local area that you're flying in. And finally, you have the Parrot in-app store, where you can purchase additional features for your drone. Up here, you have the information of your drone, which will also tell you its latest firmware, the type that you're using, the hardware version, the serial number, the number of flights and the flight duration, and any errors that you've experienced in your flights. In addition to this, you also get a picture, a satellite picture of the last location that you flew the drone in. Once you connect your drone, you will see that it self-tests the motors and the camera, making sure that there is a valid connection. In addition to that, you get a battery indicator for your drone, along with a number of GPS satellites that it's connected to. There is also the same status for the controller. You have a serial number, hardware version, and software version, and you can also calibrate and reset the controller along with connect it to your drone. You also get an indicator of the battery life of the controller itself. Okay, once you turn on your drone, you will see an indicator of its battery life and also your controller's battery life. Those are both live and connected. So now we have the option to fly, which is now green. So now you'll see I've turned on the drone, which gives me the heads up display and also the FPV view that you get from your phone when you're using it. You have a host of information at the top of the drone, including how fast you're flying, its height in meters, its distance in meters, and the option to take off. Now, with regard to the options for takeoff, you can hand launch or you can launch it from the ground depending on your preference and the availability of flat spaces to launch it from. In addition to this, you get an indication of the battery life of both the remote and the drone itself. You get an indication of whether you have a valid GPS signal. There is a Wi-Fi indicator at the top as well to show that you're connected to your phone. And you have a number of settings options available up here. The settings available on this drone are fairly in depth and you can customize all sorts of functions on it. You have the options to configure the controls. You have piloting options, including a sport and a film mode to create more cinematic shots. You can also limit its max inclination, speed, vertical speed, max rotation, max camera tilt, and whether it does a bank turn or not. The safety features available also allow you to dictate how high you want the drone to go and its maximum distance. You can also turn off or on geofencing. And you can also use a minimum altitude with regard to your return to home function. The camera option again gives you a host of functions. You can calibrate the camera from the start. You can also record from takeoff. You can use only the lossless zoom, or you can opt to use a zoom which you lose quality with. There is display overexposure and anti-flickering, and you can also choose whether you film at 50, 60 hertz. In addition to this, you get a network function indication of what Wi-Fi band you're using and what you're transmitting on. In the bottom right corner here, you get an indication of whether you have an SD card and how full it is. 
Currently this drone is set to film at 4K 24 FPS, but you can also use 1080p. In addition to this, you get the option of using different filming modes. You have standard, cinema, hyperlapse, slow motion and high frame rate. Each one will afford you a different FPS and a different resolution, depending on which one you choose. There is also a hyperlapse and a slow motion function. The hyperlapse function allows you to do by 15, by 30, by 60, by 120 and by 240, giving you a huge range of options when you're shooting. If you activate the slow motion function, you can either film at a quarter speed or 50% speed. In addition to this, the Anafi also comes with a number of pre-programmed functions. These include a 360 mode, a reveal, a spiral, and an epic mode. All of these modes are designed to give you a different perspective and enhance your videos by using the pre-programmed flight modes. Adversely, if you were using the sticks in a manual mode to create these sort of shots, it would be extremely difficult and take an experienced pilot to achieve. Over here on the left, you will also see the option to run in a sport or film mode. Sport mode unlocks the Anafi, allowing it to fly at its maximum speed of 33 miles per hour. And film mode slows the Anafi down slightly, giving you slightly more cinematic shots. If you switch to camera mode, you have the option of shooting single shots, a burst mode, bracketing, a timer or a panorama shot. In addition to this, you can shoot JPEG or RAW style formats and change things like the shutter speed and white balance and also the style of the images that you're shooting. And finally, when you are shooting photos, you also get the option to use high dynamic range, which gives your photos a more complete and edited look. So that was our brief little overview of the Free Flight 6 app for the Parrot Anafi. Hopefully you will see how easy it is to fly and how easy it is to set up. Downloading and updating your controller and your drone is very simple and very easy and the app itself is very small and quick to download. It's designed to get you in the air as quickly as possible and within a few minutes you're going to be ready to fly. Flying the Anafi itself is simple and intuitive and you also get a number of options which cater to beginners or to experienced pilots alike. The Parrot Anafi is available in our store now. I will drop a link in the description. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you soon.